uh, of course, UBS Director of Floor Operations. Art, I'm so glad we got a chance to check in with you. How are, how are you feeling given all of the worries we've spent a lot of time thinking about in the last six months? Well, I, I, I am quite impressed, Carl. I mean, we're having financial fireworks for the 4th of July. And, uh, wow. but, but you can't underestimate the importance of sentiment in this market. This is, um, you know, the, the um, feeling has shifted people beginning to, you know, that fear of missing out routine. Uh, you're coming into the second half of the year. Um, you just heard Bob and Sarah go over how strong the performance has been. And I, I can't state how strongly I believe sentiment has taken over. It is uh, the philosopher Gustav Le Bon used to write that uh, uh, you can take a crowd and turn it into a mob when sentiment begins to boil over. So I think uh, short of going absolutely parabolic, this has been some dramatic pyrotechnic here on this rally. Do you think about years like 87, where there's some unknown unknown in the back half that can spoil what was an overall uh, a really strong environment? Oh, it, 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 certainly. That's always a potential. And uh, there are certain aspects of this, uh, as I say, because the sentiment is so great, that uh, a bump in the road could turn out to be a landmine. And, and uh, uh, that could possibly happen. You know, the... the the race is not always to the fastest and the fight to the strongest, but that's the way to bet, as they say. And uh, uh, so far, the trend is, is, is going. Do, am I skeptical? Uh, yes. If they, you know, if they get any stronger, they'll turn parabolic, and that's always a, a, a fatal sign. But uh, I, I, I think uh, sentiment has taken over. People feel the train is leaving the station, and uh, they, they're, they're buying— Wildly, and so uh, I'm just anticipating having a fifth on the fourth, and then uh, we'll see what happens after we get that out of the way. It's also interesting, Art, that the the stock market has been so strong in the face of rising bond yields. I'm just looking at the intraday action, and the two-year note yield just went up. So, so it's it's reversed. We're not quite at the highs that we got overnight, 493, almost with a five in front of it for the first time since March. That that used to stand in the way of the market rallies, at least last year. That was the story. Why is it different? It's sentiment. It's, as I was just saying, they are, are not, again, getting back to the, the crowd and mob analogy, you know. If you have a logical, calm group of people, you can try to persuade them, as Mark Anthony's soliloquy, one of the great sales pitches of all time. But if it turns into a mob, they don't want to listen, and, and you're getting to that edge of sentiment. I agree with you. We're not getting the right signs from yields. Um, there's a very good chance that after your excellent interview with the central bankers, uh, we're going to see them remain higher for longer and maybe even tick a little bit higher. And, and to Bob's point of uh, what could change things, it would be that landmine. If suddenly we began to realize that rates are actually going to move higher and that is not really in anybody's plan. And if they're going to move significantly higher, everything could change. You, the, you could go to negative payrolls and whatever. But uh, for now, the sun is shining, the uh, uh, Roman candles are bursting, and everybody's happy. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts, Art. Uh, thank you. Have a great fourth, uh, Art Cashin.